I said I love it when she call me Big Papa, okay, cuz, and it's always been a West Coast thing, cuz, and, and you know, I've always been Nostradamus, son, and you know, hold on, hold on, can I live, okay, cuz, and right now, cuz, little Pie Rip is about to get into the argument of our current time, cuz. Who is the best hip hop artist of all time, Cass? Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, or Pop, Cass? Usually it's just Biggie or Jay, uh, Biggie or Pop, Cass. But I'm just gonna say Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, or Pop, Cass, because both of those Biggie, Nas, no Biggie and Pop had a beef, Cass, and Jay Z and Nas had a beef, Cass, and you know, apparently, Cass. Remy Ma can't even use sheath or Kaz because Nas just doesn't have it. She didn't, she didn't even get the beat clear, Kaz. So she just can't even fly with it, Kaz, okay? She's automatically just played out her own box, Kaz, okay? So, guys, let's just get into it, Kaz. Right now, Kaz, who is the best MC of all time, Kaz? Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, or Tupac, Kaz? Okay, Kaz. A whoop, whoop. Okay, Kaz, we're just going to jump into it and wing it, Kaz, okay, Kaz? And this guy right here, Kaz, is just arguably one of the best of all time, Kaz. We got Tupac, Kaz, from uh, Tupacalypse to uh, uh, Machiavelli to uh, the Double Disc All Lies On Me, Kaz. He was uh, one of the greatest of all time, Kaz. He lived in Baltimore, New York to LA. He was a traveler, Kaz, and started some of the greatest movies, Juice, Above the Rim, Kaz, and you know, movies like uh, Baby Boy were written for this guy, Kaz. Okay, Kaz, there's no denying that, Kaz. From California Love, Kaz, to, um, to uh, Hit Em Up, Kaz, to uh, just, uh, that's just, uh, those are just some of the the, 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 uh, uh, um, Dear Mama, cuz, uh, 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 Brenda's got a baby, cuz, come on, cuz, I mean, it, it, this, 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 this guy right here is one of the arguably best, cuz, and, um, I know some of you guys want to talk about other artists, but, uh, when you listen to tracks like that, cuz, those are times and moments in history that, you know, that developed you, you know, and you gotta give accolade and homage to those things, guys, okay, guys, and, and you know, when it comes to hit him up, you know, his beef with Biggie, you know, it, that led to both of their demises, cuz, cuz, you know, other guys were coming up in the world, and, you know, word to whack 100, you know, uh, Pac was out of there due to gang violence, cuz, you know, you know, uh, the, you know, taking it up on the wrong guys, catching the attitude with the wrong guys, and not having somebody to call them that G card for you, guys. But you know, it's all good, guys. We we lose the best of them. And he uh, he, I think he died around like 25, 26, guys. Him and Big Cas, but arguably one of the best beefs of all times, guys. And it has to be recognized, guys. And you know, uh, moving on to Biggie, you know, it it, it mainly shy. It mainly started because uh, Pot got shot up at Crowd Studios. Biggie had this song called Who Shot Ya, and you know, it just popped off from there, guys. <laughs> and you know, Pac went crazy, he's getting shot, he's living, he's got all this uh, uh, African mumbo jumbo uh, all up, uh, bumped up in his head and stuff like that from uh, his mom being an activist, and you know, he's just moving on how he moves, and you know, that's how it happened. But on the Biggie, you know, same thing that led to his demise, cast being in California, wrong place, wrong time, Kaz, you know what I'm saying, Kaz, beefing with this guy, Kaz, and you know, them people up top not wanting to see that beef uh, last any longer because it's taking over the amount of attention the president could receive, and you know, shit, man, he ended up dying about that, man, and it's something that he shouldn't have died about, and you know, that may have something to do with Harlem and some more noise, you did, Kaz, okay, word to whack 100, Kaz, okay, Kaz, but Biggie arguably the greatest of all time from Juicy, he only had two notable uh, albums, and that was Ready to Die and uh, Life After Death, Double Disc, Kaz, but from Juicy to uh, Everyday Struggle to, uh, 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 um, 
Shit, uh, what was the joint about me and my bitch? You know, you dig what I'm saying, guys? Okay, guys. Uh, let's move on to these guys right here. This guy, Jay, man. This guy, Jay, is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, both him, Biggie, grew up in Brooklyn. Marcy Projects, Jay-Z grew up at. You know what I'm saying? One of another notable beef between him and Nas. Crazy. Nas coming out of Queen Bridge, but Jay coming out of Marcy Projects in Brooklyn. Uh, uh, uh. You know, uh, big also in Brooklyn and Bad Style. You feel me? Those those guys were two friends. You know what I'm saying? And this guy Jay came up after that whole nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Even though he, his recognition was lacking. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z gets his name from the guy Jazz O for real. You feel me? I don't think it was no biting, but he just uh, he came up off of that freestyle and that uh, that lifestyle. You know? And um, shit, Jay's a monster, man. To this day, there's no denying that. Dropping 444 2017, Magna Carta, Black Album, Blueprint, uh, Blueprint 2, shit, you know what I'm saying? Songs, uh, man, it's un, 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 unnotable songs, man, unnotable quotables, you feel me? Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It's just it's just a serious situation, cuz. I mean, you know, you need the black album, it's no it's no denying Jay Z at all, man. Him and Jay him and uh Kanye at all, man. And then this guy right here, the beef between him, uh, when it came to uh what was that those beef songs they had? It was uh Ether and then there was uh Ether was to Jay and then Jay came back Jay came back and dissed him with the um Shit, I can't even remember it, man. Cause Ether was so fire, cause I, I, I just, I just know that he won that beef. You know what I'm saying that rap contest. I mean, this guy Nas dropped Illmatic at 16. You gotta recognize that, cause, and you gotta give accolade that because he wrote Illmatic at 16, cause, and it's one of the most notable albums of all time, cause. There's no undermining that. Straight like that, cause. If you undermine it, you're undermining hip hop at its finest, cause. Okay, and you know, me, I, I, I can't arguably, consciously, sit back and try to make a decision about who's better of these four guys. Okay, guys, because they're all monsters, guys, in their own right, guys. Like, and they, uh, they all have their own individual strengths, and they've uh, accurately stood the test of time, guys, and that's the importance of it, guys. You know, once you stand the test of time, and once you stand, uh, you make your 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 irrelevant stand on his story. That's history, cause and uh, shit, bro. You know, you can't do nothing besides that, cause and uh, shit, man. Hip hop's a thing that's always gonna be, and you little guys gotta give homage. You younger guys gotta give homage and recognition to these guys, cause and uh, you make a decision, cause on who was the best, cause cause I don't know, cause. I love all four of them till this day, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. Uh, uh, okay, Kaz. I want you to leave a comment down below, Kaz. I'm not going to make no uh, judgment on who's the best, Kaz, because all of them were just influential to my existence, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. And you know, Kaz, uh, whether it's Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, Kaz, you got to give respect where it's due, Kaz. In their artistry, Kaz. In their cadence of rap, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. So, in the comments below, Kaz, tell me which one, tell me which one you like more, Kaz. Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, Kaz. Some of my young cats might little yachty, guys. I know, guys. Just gonna be an asshole, guys. Just go ahead, put it in the comments. Who cares, guys? Just comment down below, okay, guys? And let's smash that like button, like, like, let's smash that like button all the way up, guys. Okay, get these numbers up, guys. Okay, guys. A woo woo.